hello again, doll collectors of the world, including those that are fans of antique, vintage, hard plastic. Last week, I had orders from Oops Baby eBay, a 2004 sissy doll called Limelight Edition. And um, she was never been touched. She was only in a toy display. They put her back in the box. Now, I got this at the time of our current problem. So when I open her up, I'm going to have to unfortunately wash my hands and keep her, keep her boxes out and, and to air them out just to be on the safe side. I saw one YouTuber had to use rubber gloves and said she was going to have to wash the doll, but this doll has sensitive clothes and a wig. But here's another thing. Uh, I remember somebody on uh, liked my other video and they sent me a message. They wanted to send me Madame Alexander doll. They didn't like, didn't want anymore. And I said, go ahead. But I would suggest you might want to sell on eBay, make some money from it. So you might want to consider. And I had ordered this doll last week, but it said it was going to come on the night. All of a sudden it comes early. But I look in the back and it wasn't Willie T, it was Sue something, so it did it, it come from Boots Baby. So we're going to proceed in opening it up. And then I'm going to have to air her out a little bit just to be on the safe side. Now let's proceed. Let's proceed. Okay, I guess I'll uh, cut it here. Hmm. Wait a Okay. Oh. Don't tear the other box up. Okay, I think we're getting it. I had to turn the box the other side in order to cover up the address because I don't want it on the video. I'll just cut it here. Loosen it. I think we're getting it. Yep. Yeah, we're getting it. Oh my goodness. Obviously it was, excuse me, obviously it was that, uh, obviously it came early. Here it is. Yeah, 2004 Limelight. Two thousand and four limelight. A little nervous. A little excited. It is. It came early. It came early. Now the box is typical of a Madame Alexander box, very colorful. Stripes on the side, if you all see it. And it is her. That was pretty fast service. And it says, Ale Madame Alexander, life in the limelight. Now we'll proceed in the opening. Now let's proceed with a surprise. Let's look, let's see what she looks like.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at this. She was put back in the box in 2004. She has her pair of shoes and she has her earrings or some jewelry. Now I'm going to have to air this doll out for a couple of hours be on the safe side. We can take her in and have a nice talk about it. There she is. She's beautiful than ever. She has been aired enough. So now I think we could, I just brought her in. And now we're going to open her up fully. Uh, yep. Undo these. Because this is all put back in 2004. She, as I said, she was a display for a toy store. Then we can uh, see what she is. Uh, yeah, we're getting her now. As I said, she comes with shoes. Uh, extra jewelry. I think this is a pair of, um, I think this is a pair of, of uh, earrings, and I think this is a, a chain. It looks it. This is her certificate of authenticity. Alexander, Madame Alexander, Certificate of Authenticity, Life in the Limelight. She's numbered at 162 out of 200. So boy, was I lucky. She was a 200 limit, and this is 162. And here's more information about being a member of the Madame Alexander Club, which a prob probably you can do today still. I will get her out. Now she has these uh, clear line shoes made out of plastic and it, cl it clasps in the back. Let's see now. Wait a minute. Try to get. Okay. And, and then I. Because they love food. Excuse me. That's, that's my thoughts growing, thinking. Oh, I'm seeing they be having trouble with it. Wait a minute. Is this a right foot or a left foot? Oh, I have trouble with this. Okay. Okay. No, it's not. Shh. Okay. Let's put her foot on. Shoes on. Okay. Oh, darn it. Oh, it's, bra it's breaking. It's breaking. I got her shoe on the, I had it on the wrong foot, if you notice. I finally got it on the right side. Now we're going to clasp it in the back. The way it's supposed to be. Yeah, now we got it. Wait a minute. Made a mistake. Okay, I think I got it on right. <sighs> yeah. Okay, got it. Now our other shoe. I had it on the wrong foot. I could have tore it up. Okay. Yeah, I almost did. And it's loose. Damn Alexander, shame on you. You made this shoe a little bit slightly small. But it's an old model and it's loose. Unfortunately, this shoe here fell off because the shoe is slightly smaller. 
Now I'm gonna have to re-glue it. I glued it finally, but now I gotta wait for it to dry. As I said, isn't she beautiful? Now the reason why I got her, mainly because of her face paint, it's so unusual. And uh, her dress is gorgeous. And I always like Madame Alexander dolls that have painted nails. And her toenails are also painted, even though at the moment she's at, without that other shoe, it's still drying. She has wonderful flaps on the lower part of her dress. It's just gorgeous. But she has that unusual makeup and her earrings. Her earrings are also very, 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 very unusual. And she still has her little tag at the bottom, which explains her. Now, here's her back. She has gorgeous third flap in the back of the bottom of her dress with her two flaps up front. You can see it. And she has this gorgeous long hair. Very nice. The way they handle the top of her hair, her hairdo, if you notice, sunlight is kind of washing it out a bit, the way they folded it up on top. It wasn't a pair of matching earrings, I thought. It's a bracelet. But the problem is that it doesn't match her earrings, which are yellow, which don't make any sense. It's a mismatch. Even her wonderful bracelet, even if her wonderful uh, neck, uh, what do you call it, chain, doesn't match her earrings neither. It's just opposite color. It matches her dress design, but even the earrings are not matching her um, dress. So I guess there's some imperfections about this. And another thing is that her head is a little bit smaller than her body than the other sissies that I got years earlier in the 90s. And it makes her arms a little bit longer too. Her arms are a little bit longer. Glad that her rubber bands are still going. At 2020 though, they can break any time and I'd have to get it repaired. But she's gorgeous. Now I'll take her in and we'll take her clothes off and study her body and study this. Now we're going to uh, remove her clothes. We're going to analyze her body. Has a little clasp. Oh, she has some underwear. Huh. Let's take her shoes off. Okay, let's analyze this. Oh, and she has some nice, nice stocking. She has a, oh yes, yeah, she has a bra, kind of like, oh yes, yeah, she has a bra. Good God, yep, yeah, she has a, a one-piece underwear, sexy underwear. Yep, yeah, sexy underwear. She also has the traditional leg movements. She articulates up and down. Yep, the same leg movements. Her legs, her arms move up and down. And she has unusual broad shoulders. Oops, excuse me. This is I guess her underwear, had, her underwear had slipped out. I'm glad I took her dress off. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, that got it. 
hope her rubber band don't break. And this is the way she looks. Miss Sissy, Miss Sissy has a traditional Madame Alexander sissy body. You notice it. She even has a number written. She's 162 of 200. If you can see it, 162 of 200 on her butt. And she has the traditional, as I said before, um, except her arms, she has the traditional legs that you can move up and down at the bottom with the traditional springs. It's just that you can't move her arms like you could do. It's just that you can't move her arms just like you could do in the 1950s system. Although I heard the more recent ones, they gave back the movable bottom arm, bottom arms. But she does move up here, and she has no metal spots in her body. These newer sissies, even early 2000s, have never had these metal things in there like the ones back in the 50s. But she does have her traditional metal, she does have her traditional metal stuff right at the bottom here, which is typical of a sissy doll. Got her a little bit dirty, but there's her number. Same tradition, except this is not hard plastic. This is vinyl. This is total vinyl. And this is her dress. Well done, Madame Alexander made clothing. It says sissy here. You can see it. And it shows the inside of her dress, which is well sewn. And it even says the advertisement of Alexander. And it even has the number that her dress that, oh, she's not, her, the dress is 156 out of 200. I thought it was, the doll, I could have thought it said 162, but the dress says 160, 56 out of 200. So I figured out that um, she must have been really expensive back 2000 for probably 800 bucks, but I got her way down. Why well, I did Diamond Beauty back in 2001. Well stitch, better than my sewing. Well done. Another thing about this dress is red flap. The flap is that it contains a reddish tint. And uh, this reddish tint, as you can see, if the light hits it, it shows it even more. But it's caused by this wonderful red colored mesh that's in every flap. Every flap. And her sexy Lingree is very well sewn. Very well done. Nice stitching. And her stockings are well sewn too. This is typical quality for Madame Alexander dolls. This is why they're really not meant for kids. They're really more meant for adults and serious teenagers who collect excellent quality dolls. As I said, I got Miss G Miss Sissy because the unusual eyes of her face paint, because she has some black lines within her eyebrows. Imagine, imagine, Miss Sissy's a big motion picture star going to the Groman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood Boulevard to see a premiere. Or maybe she's an Academy Award winning actress going to the a Kodak Theater because she was nominated as Best Actress or going to the Tony Awards because she's nominated as Best Stage Actress on Broadway or maybe she's 
she's going to an elegant party. Well, here's another look at Miss Sissy one more time. This is Limelight Sissy. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!